If you could see the way I have this rigged up, you would understand. Oh, here we go. I need my microphone. All right. In memory of Tony Lane Casterly, it will always be too soon. Culture. A model for functional self-sovereignty and nations of agreements. By Tony Lane Casterly, with help from many voluntary contributors. This might actually be easier without my glasses. We are entering into a future beyond borders and will need a global jurisdiction to provide people around the world with the ability to take stewardship rights over their identity, legal documentation, and rule of law. First Nations self-organized in pursuit of common goals, shared values, stewardship of resources, and higher purpose. Common organization under colonialism was tied to geographical location and ownership of assets towards the ends of self-interest at nearly any expense. Modern technology has given us the liberty to transcend popular perceptions of borders and nations toward more evolved models of self-sovereignty and free association amongst interdependent groups. Just as we have a worldwide web of information, we envisage a planetary web of voluntary, abundant, and cooperative nationhood, where individual identity is stewarded by communities and institutions enabling diverse and dynamic economies to reformulate the ways in which we share, receive, and contribute real value to our relative groupings. Um, my personal thing there would be where the individual identity is stewarded. I guess that's okay, as long as the individual identity is in the custody of the individual. Blockchain technology has created a myriad of fresh possibilities and has eliminated many inefficiencies, including the need for trusted third parties, such as geographical nation states, to record legal agreements or govern. Structures forming the foundation of our present society are transitioning. Current dominating modalities will not be necessary to the extent that they have been. This is not a bad thing. We envisage a world where sovereign individuals will build and self-organize into nations, cultures, of agreements. We believe the side effects of this transition will be heightened voluntary participation in diverse social networks, the redefinition of civic engagement, incentivized distributed problem solving, the elimination of work, novel methods of resource generation, the elimination of scarcity, ubiquitous access to legal human rights, the cultivation of liberties, revolutions of consciousness, the radical shift in self-identification and ownership. Heightened individual and collective capacity for problem solving mingled with greater technology gives us the ability to re-incentivize collaboration toward the transcendence of economic meaning as over-materialization for all, enabling the full realization of our human potential. Okay, so I just don't understand that sentence. So if somebody wants to explain it to me, we've got, I'm down. A truly free society can and should reward infinite players in an infinite game for solving problems without causing harm while uncovering meaning in the pursuit of more infinite consciousness. In short, culture is a network of trust based on holistic acceptance of protocols and service applications to re-incentivize individuals acting within networks to form self-governing alliances in interdependent marketplaces which enable self-organizing voluntary networks to co-opt and compete with traditional infrastructure for the benefit of humanity. We believe in political liberation through ubiquitous access to digital rights, financial liberation through universal ownership of digital assets, and creative liberation through freedom of association and creation within sovereign economic structures. This paper is a living document. The principles remain.